Hey guys, Spider Games here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the X01 Power Armor in Fallout 76, and I'm also going to show you a couple other cool things that I found along the way. So, stick around. To kick off this line of quests, we're going to go to the abandoned waste dump, which is located here on the map. Now, inside, we're going to encounter some death claws, but they really shouldn't be a problem. Now, coming from the entrance, you should be going towards the elevator. You're going to turn left down the cave. Now we're going to find this body, pick up this note, and we're going to start the quest bunker buster. Now first thing we need to do is find the bypass holotape, which is located inside one of three deathclaw nests inside this cave. But uh, once you find it, you can head towards the elevator, stand inside of it, and then you're going to play that holotape. And uh, that's how we hack our way into this top secret government facility, which is nifty I think. But uh, once you're inside, uh, you find this high-tech door, unhackable, triple deadlocked, you know, from Doctor Who and all that shit. But uh, we end up finding a piece of paper with what we thought were directions for resetting the router, but actually they were for resetting the door. So uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and unplug the door and then let it sit for 20 seconds uh, by flipping this switch. And then we're going to turn this knob here because we're told to. And then we're going to push the on button, uh, which turns it off, of course. If you hold it, uh, it'll beep like the Xbox does. And boom, doors reset, just like that. Just like a router. Anyways, uh, yeah, now we uh, just put our hand against that thing and it reads us as if uh, we own the door or something, which is, you know, cool. And uh, I'm on this terminal, by the way, because we find the passcode uh, to the little hidden compartment behind the painting. The code is 021584, and you type it in on the keypad on the wall there. But uh, that painting on the right, we're going to find a key card and another holotape inside of it. Um, I'm kind of bummed out that it didn't swing out or anything. But anyways, we're going to play the holotape, which is the White Springs. Uh, welcome to White Springs. Uh, that's right. And that's going to end Bunker Buster, and we're going to start One of Us. And this means we're going to be joining the Enclave now. So head to White Spring, and um, hopefully you've already been here before. But uh, we're not going to go to the actual hotel. I did that, and I'm an idiot. Uh, we're going to go to a bunker that's uh, you know out somewhere outside the hotel. But we run across some more fancy doors, and then we find a vault door, which is uh, where we're going. We're going to find ourselves in a labyrinth of a bunch of stuff and stuff. I don't know. There's a lot of things. Like, it's confusing. It's fucking here. There's, like, cabinets everywhere. It all looks the same. It's frustrating. But uh, we get our pictures taken first, and then we go to the suspenser and uh, retrieve identification cards or something from it. We're going to be doing a lot of things with dispensers. Uh just you wait and see anyways we're gonna meet modus and he's awesome he's not creepy at all or off-putting um and yeah our next objective was to get some water from the water dispenser there and uh now we're gonna do a questionnaire and you can answer these the way i did now the first two questions they're like not optional but uh rather they're uh you know opinion based but uh, the other questions, they're based on fact, like who's the 18th president, you know, or uh, who won the Battle of Anchorage, which is a Fallout question, Fallout lore. But uh, yeah, you can answer, you know, a couple of my questions. I don't know what kind of outcome, if it even alters the outcome of the main Enclave quest line, but whatever. Anyways, uh, we do the little thing and then we get something else out of the dispenser and then we're going to go to Sugar Grove now. So we're going to set up some off-site link, but uh, yeah, when we get here, you need to use that terminal to open the door. And then, uh, yeah, there's just regular enemies. We get to kill them. And by the way, um, this is a great place for farming screws. We also find lots of clipboards, which, as we all know, contains lots of springs. We're going to need 90 springs total to build this power armor, by the way. Um, and uh, yeah, we fight our way down to this golden eye set up down here we're gonna hop on this terminal and then we're gonna plug a hollow tape into it and it's called systems access tape and uh, that's just system not systems but anyways you're gonna initiate that shit and it does things you know the ai mobius is happy you return to the bunker you go to the dispenser you you know hang out by the dispenser with all the other robots you know you talk about things dispenser related 
Anyways, we're going to another off-site location, and, uh, I forget what the fuck this place is called. It's real close to the other place we went to, though. Um, it's just north of it. But, uh, when you get here, you can choose to either loot this place, which you want to. You find lots of screws, which we need to build the armor. And then, uh, you can just go straight up the stairs here to the roof, which is where the mission takes us. And you don't really need to fight anybody. You know, they'll probably follow you. A couple might follow you outside, but, uh, yeah. Easy peasy, you plug in that shit, it sparks, it goes haywire, and then you watch a package fall to the earth. You go pick it up, and it's this cool weapon, actually. It's, I've seen it on another person's video, um, I haven't yet tried it myself. And oh my god, that guy is fucking awesome. Anyways, one of us is now complete. What we need to do now is go to boot camp, basically. And I'll show you that in a second. There's the rewards. Um, another thing we get is the Bunker Buster Rocket Launcher, which does 20% more damage, by the way. So, uh, very simple. This stuff, there's a waypoint leading you to every little thing. Nothing, you can't get stuck on anything. But anyways, guys, we're going to the military wing, which is located down here. This is the only part of the quest uh, that actually doesn't have a waypoint. But uh, yeah, now that you're down here, you can collect some more fans, which contains the screws that we need to build our armor. And then uh, we're gonna go to boot camp. And this is pretty cool, I guess. No, you're gonna fucking hate this. Anyways, we're gonna talk to the sergeant. He's gonna tell us to get our damn helmet, which you can find on the desk, and we're gonna find our military fatigues on that shelf. But anyways, you, uh, you don those, and then we can go do boot camp crap, which I loved so much. Um, anyways, for this course, you can do these in any order you want to, but I started with this one, which is where I accused Jimmy of fucking, I don't remember what it was. I don't even think I knew for sure while I was doing it. I just knew I had to accuse somebody of something and, uh, that I was going to find something somewhere that's going to, you know, lead me to accusing somebody. And that's basically how I did it. I accused Jimmy. Um, there was evidence on his computer, and I was like, okay, the game is calling this evidence, then it must be Jimmy. So I fucking accused him. This is the most boring quest, guys, I'm sorry. Um, but I'll show you how to get through it, just in case there's some people out there that might be confused by any of this. So there's a gun range part, you know, I try to have fun with it, but my friend, he just ran up to all the targets and basically shot them point blank. You could do it that way. Um, next course is, uh, what is this course again? Oh, it's the parkour course. I remember this. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, I don't know. You might find it fun. You know, I, I didn't really care for it. You know, I played Dying Light and things like that. You know, uh, you probably played like, uh, Assassin's Creed. This does not feel like a parkour game to me. Even though I do a lot of parkour, I guess you'd say. Anyways, moving on. We're going to the last, um... Uh, we call it course, which is kind of like past the fence. As you can see, I had to run past the fence and stuff. Um, that's the only part that confused me for a second. But as long as you know to do that, uh, yeah, you're good. We get to fight robots, you know, and this is a little funner than before because it seems it feels like we're playing the game instead of just simulating inside of a simulator. But uh, once we're done here. We're basically ready to go and kill some Scorch Beasts, which I'll talk about in a second, but... Yep, we're all done. We can take our crap off, and now we've started the quest, Officer on Deck. And this is where things get real fun. I had a lot of fun doing this, trust me. But anyways, when you get back down to the military wing, you're going to go to this console, which basically explains how accommodations work and the whole system behind that. So basically, you earn points by killing Scorch Beasts or epic legendary enemies or by doing the Enclave events. And uh, it's pretty fun. I like doing it my way anyways. I'll show you. So, we're actually going to survey camp, I showed this location in a previous video, and there's actually a ground-to-air missile turret here, which is totally OP, and uh, we're going to kill the Scorch Beast within a couple minutes, but uh, right now he's hanging way far back because I actually got killed. You need to be wearing power armor when you do this. Um, when I first ran up here, um, I didn't have any power armor on, and that Scorch Beast just annihilates you. The system here that you need to do is you're going to watch the Scorch Beast. Make sure you shoot at him. That way you get points from it, you know. 
Um, I've never actually let the turret do all the work, so I don't know if you don't get the combination if you uh, don't shoot them at all, if it's like the game's fighting itself. But as you can see, my turret's already destroyed because the damn Scorched were beating up on it and I wasn't paying attention. So now, while I'm paying attention, I can go ahead and cover the turret, which is going to cover the Scorched Beast, who is just covering everybody and is bullshit. And uh, this goes on for like a minute or two you'll see he's at full health right now pretty much right it looks like full health close enough um, yeah so we're gonna go ahead and keep killing these guys because we need to and you need to keep repairing that turret because it's always gonna be breaking down you know it's getting bombarded by the scorched beast the scorched themselves uh, you know lots of assholes just all over that thing and um, this is actually good for you too because um, the attention is all on the turret and you're not going to be attacked nearly as much so you have much better uh, chances of surviving. Now uh, the Scorch Beast is half dead and a Mirelurk King comes up on me here which is the first time I've seen a Mirelurk King in this game. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool but uh, yeah I think that Scorch Beast is half dead now. Um, this is where I found the power armor by the way uh, just so you know. If you want to see that video, it's in my first uh, Power Armor Locations video. I'm showing all the Power Armor Locations in uh, the whole entire game. And uh, yeah, that's going to be an ongoing series. So I'm sure that there's going to be DLC. And we're going to get new Power Armor and stuff like that. But anyways, still covering the turret. Making sure that it's operational so that we can get this gosh darn Scorch Beast dead. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of running away from this king and he's almost dead actually i think um the scorched beast was actually hitting him as well but uh yeah the scorched beast should be just about dead now so there's the scorched beast down and as you can see i got one accommodation now you can uh fast travel away from survey camp and then fast travel back and there should be a new scorched beast for you and you do that until uh, Officer on Deck is over and you get all these awesome rewards like the missile silo state turret or what is that hollow tape rather not turret um i don't know what that is yet but i'll cover that in my nuke video but we start the quest i am become death and uh yeah i can't wait to see what that's all about but now we have access to the area where only generals like ourselves can get access to there's all sorts of stuff but what we're after is the xo prototype armor which is going to be on this terminal and it's going to be under schematics, so you're going to see schematics on the screen. Um, I did record it, but for some reason I lost recording and all I had was me looking at the damn thing. But as you can see, um, yeah, it takes lots and lots of material. You're going to want to farm all the material you can. As you're going through all those dungeons, you know, pick it all up. But uh, I didn't really like the look of the prototype paint, so I changed it to just regular, you know, how you find it. I can't wait till we get new skins and stuff, but... Yeah, guys, that's all you have to do. You know, you got to be level 40, of course. Um, I tried making this armor before I was level 40, and it didn't work. You know, it's just all black. doesn't let me do anything with it. But, uh, yeah, so level 40 and up. Um, do the quests and all that stuff. And you get access to not only this armor, but, you know, you've got the Gatlin Plasma right here. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Gatlin Plasma. I've already... It's only like 500 caps in the shop there and it's right next to where i was uh getting the schematics for the exo power armor but that's it guys um that's it for this video there's nothing more to really tell this was just about the power armor um i'm gonna be covering nukes in a future video of course but um i'm not gonna be going over the whole process of joining the enclave and all that shit i'm gonna put a reference to this video in that video i'm gonna say go check out the power armor video about the enclave power armor and then come back and you'll know how to set off the nukes from the ending point of that video. But anyways, guys, uh, I hope you found this informative. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. I appreciate it if you do. Um, it helps my videos out, you know. And uh, subscribe for future videos. Like I said, I'm going to be covering all the new guns that we get from the Enclave. Uh, I'm sure that there's more. There's also other schematics that are mysteries. Um, they were with the XO power armor, so we'll see about that. Maybe there's Hellfire armor in there too, but uh, 
yeah guys that's it thanks for watching and as always i will see you in the next video